Internal issues weighing down the two Valley Boys junk new groups, adding another layer. A notice of eviction served on the old guard, ordering them to vacate the Claridge Road shack immediately. The Don Davis takes it from here. It was close to 7 p.m. on Tuesday evening when leader of the Way Forward Valley Boys, Trevor Davis, and members of his team, alongside the police, arrived at the Valley Boys Claret Road shack to serve a four-paragraph summons and notice of eviction to the executive team of the world-famous Valley Boys, headed by longtime chairman Brian Adderley, Denrick Miller, and John Archer. But none were in sight. According to noted builder and executive member Herbert Bain, a 10-year lease issued to the old Valley regime in 2007 expired. Now with 80% of the Valley Boys now backing Trevor Davis, Bain says it was now time to reclaim the group's old homestead. The previous management team and the Valley Boys did not see it fit to, to renew the lease. Um, and technically speaking, anyone could have come and, 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 and obtained a lease for this facility and the Valley Boys would be out in the cold. But we, in our quest to build this group and to build, build this group for the membership, we were able to secure a 10-year lease for this property. Past Vice Chairman of the world-famous Valley Boys, Patrick Adderley, says all of the theatrics displayed is distasteful, embarrassing to fans, sponsors, and supporters, and is not a reflection of what the Valley Boys Junk New Group stands for. This renegade fraction, in their own pronouncements, two weeks ago said that they had three shacks. Um, Mr. Sandy Sands, Mr. Um, the Minister, all of them are trying to force us to join or meet with these people. But these are the kind of theatrics that they, they do behind your back, under the door, under the cover, underhanded things, wicked, evil things. This is what they're all about. And this is why we cannot talk to them. The Way Forward Valley Boys group leader Trevor Davis claims an olive branch has been extended in an effort to build the Valley Boys and regain the prominence the group is known for since the 1950s, but to no avail. We're the ones who are saying, let's have election. We're the ones who are saying, let's have transparency and accountability. And if that was the order of the day, we wouldn't have been here. We would have been talking about something else. We would have been talking about the costumes, we would have been unity. And the fate of the Valley Boys will be determined after a special cult meeting with culture minister the Honorable Mario Boleg, the JCNP and NJC executives and other stakeholders on Sunday. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm LaDawn Davis. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe for all things Zedanas.